Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, the Confucius Institute from the University of uh, Johannesburg is exhibiting Chinese artist uh, Lin Bin's epic uh, painting of Nelson Mandela. The exhibition opened on Thursday and continues until the 8th of May. Now, here to chat to us about the works uh, it's called, is Professor Alban Burke, an artist, Lin Bin. And I believe here the work is uh, divided into three, and it is a Peacemaker as well there in there. Uh, gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. So let's start with you, uh, the, the man behind this work. What inspired it? Oh, because, uh, of course, I'm, I'm an artist, but also I am uh, an idealist. Mm -hmm. I admire Mandela very much. Uh, as everybody knows, uh, China has a, uh, uh, went through a cultural revolution. Yeah, we know the radicalism made uh, all the mankind uh, pay the heavy price to mm -hmm. it. But Mandela did a good job mm -hmm. for it. Yeah, so I admire him very much. Yeah. So this time, I think uh, I show the painting in South Africa, uh, bring Mandela in the painting, come back to his hometown. Mm -hmm. It's my pleasure. Yeah. All right, Professor, let's talk about the significance of this prisoner, president, and peacemaker. Um, you know, it, it's an obvious thing, but it, the, for somebody who comes from outside of South Africa to uh, label uh, works like this, what's the significance of that? I, I think the significance of this work is that it, it's a dynamic piece of art. It really traces back um, uh, Mr. Mandela's life right from, from being a prisoner, right, and, and then to, to being a peacemaker. Um, and I think the significance of that is um, th the kind of person that it would take to come from prison, um, to suffer hardship, but then still have the message of peace, mm -hmm. hope, harmony, and, and that kind of thing. I think that's the significance of it. And how did this partnership come about with the UJ? I mean, he's exhibited this work in Beijing, Hong Kong, and Taiwan as well. Mm -hmm. And to come all the way to South Africa from, you know, Asia to here. To here. Um, I think I need to give you a bit of background. Mm -hmm. the, the Confucius Institutes, um, there are 500 across the world. Um, the Chinese government decided 10 years ago, and specifically the Department of Education, that they want to open up China to the rest of the world. And they've created these Confucius Institutes across the world. And what happens is that you have this collaboration between a, a, a local university and a Chinese university and the Confucius headquarters um, in Beijing. And the whole idea is to primarily, primarily to teach Mandarin, but secondly to promote Chinese culture. Mm -hmm. And when we became aware of, of Mr. Liebin's work, um, it really slotted in with what our primary focus is, and that is to, to promote Chinese culture. And we invited Mr. Liebin to, to come and exhibit his painting here. All right. So it's, a, it's at the UJ Art Center. Uh, how big are we talking about? <laughs> I see it's, you know, 38 meter by 3.8 meter. Yeah. How big is this? <laughs> okay. First of all, it's, it's being displayed at our uh, Faculty of Arts, Design and Arch Architecture building on our Bunting Road campus. Okay, up the road from us here. Just around the corner mm -hmm. from you, yeah. Um, I think the only way to describe it is massive. Yeah. It, it is 38 <laughs> meters long, um, 3.8 meters high. Um, the, the sheer size of it is, is the first impact that it has on mm -hmm. you, just the absolute size of it, yeah. So what are you trying to say with this work? What is your message? Oh, I want to say it because this exhibition of the painting Mandela, not uh, only, uh, only me do it, you know. A lot of, a lot of Chinese, a lot of Chinese support the exhibition of painting Mandela will show all the, over the world. For mm -hmm. example, here, the, the third station here, first station in Shanghai last year, July 18th, Mandela International Day. Yeah. Second uh, station in Beijing during the Mandela passed away the, the memory day. Mm -hmm. And the third day, a third station here, and the next station mm. will be New York, United Nations, mm -hmm. uh, maybe this year, July 18th too. And then I will show you in Europe, Asia, and then come back to China. Uh. Yeah. So a lot of Chinese uh, uh, people, they supported the exhibition. Because not only me, a lot of Chinese admire 
Mandala very much. Oh. Yeah, this is uh, all right. Yeah. Another, another thing I should say. Yeah. Mandala the uh, some idea is as similar as Confucius old saying. Mm -hmm. So this time it's my uh, it's my pleasure. Uh, institute the uh, Confucius Institute to the leaders, Urban and uh, David. Both of them they did hard work prepare this celebration. Mm. And really, I, I, I really I should thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> gentlemen, thank you so much for uh, talking to us. Uh, of course, the gentleman talking to us about the Mandela painting that's on at the Farakom, not the, the, the UG Arts Campus, the one up the road, Bunting Road. Um, it is a, a ginormous, ginormous thing. So you have to see it. It's on there until uh, the 8th of May. So you have a couple of weeks to go and see it. Well, let's take a quick ad break and then see the plays us out uh, before we say goodbye to our viewers.